Next you're with us Whose holidays are Fiera Pull up a deck chair and sit back, relax. It's time for your favorite cruise hour. You're on board, just cruising. Whether you're dreaming of your first cruise or planning your next one, join Larry Jackson as he explores the magical world of cruising. To launch today's cruise, here's Larry Jackson. Good morning. Aloha, a como mai, and welcome aboard. I'm Larry Jackson, owner of Cruise Holidays of Vieira, and I'll be your cruise director for this week's edition of our radio magazine that's all about the magical world of cruising and travel. And welcome, everybody. Happy New Year, and I hope you had a very, very Merry Christmas. We certainly did. We went up to Atlanta to uh, be with our family. We have a very special show for you today for several different reasons. First of all, we are live in the studio, and that means that you can join us at 768-1240 and just call in, and you can be a part of our show. And also, it's a special show because joining us is my lovely and gracious wife, Linda Jackson, the co-owner of Cruise Holidays of Vieira. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Today's edition of Just Cruising will be our last broadcast on AM radio on WMMB 1240 and 1350. In case you missed last week's show, uh, we made the announcement then that we're going to be moving the show to YouTube. And it's going to be uh, coming to you pretty much every uh, Saturday also. Uh, and uh, you'll be able to watch the show as well as to listen to it. So Just Cruising will continue on YouTube. Uh, I want to emphasize that the decision to not broadcast on AM radio was purely Linda and I's decision. It was based upon the fact that we wanted to, uh, after nine years of broadcasting, we wanted to move on to another venue. And it was not any, uh, it was not forced on us by WMMB or Bill Mick or anybody else. They were delighted to have us continue on the air. And it was solely our, solely our decision to, um, to end the show here on 1240 and 1350 on Saturday mornings. If you'd like to join us on our YouTube station, uh, the easiest way to do that is to go to our webpage, vieira.cruiseholidays.com. And you can scroll down there. As you scroll down, you'll see all different things that we have on the page there. And you'll see one that says subscribe. And when you hit that button, it takes you to our YouTube channel. Uh, there's a red box up in the right-hand corner. Just follow the instructions and subscribe. One thing you need to do is mark the little bell there. You just click that bell. And that means every time we post a new show, you'll get an email from YouTube telling us that the show is available for you. So that's all available for you at vieira.cruiseholidays.com. You won't have to miss a beat with Just Cruising. We'll be here every week for you when we're not out traveling, which, as most of you know, is a lot. Of, is a lot. But um, we've had a great uh, nine years here, and uh, now it's time to move on to another venue. So let's uh, look at the news of the week that came across the old computer monitor. Oh, before we get to that, I do want to uh, uh, tell you about something. We have a uh, feature on our webpage called Ask the Travel Guide Guy. And uh, what you can do is you can go there and you can click it. And if you have a question about cruising or traveling, then you can uh, click it and it sends an email to us. And if it's uh, a great question, we'll uh, have it on our on air. Uh, and if it even is not a great question, we'll still answer it. So uh, uh, Randy sent us a uh, question. I thought this one was really good. Um, he said at the new bionic bar that Royal Caribbean has on their ships, and that's where the robots make your drinks, and it's on the quantum class ships. Uh, it's also going to be on the Harmony of the Seas when she comes to Port Canaveral, and it's going to be moving to other, probably to the, all the Oasis class ships also. So on the bionic bar, um, you get charged an 18% gratuity for your drink. So who gets the gratuities? Do the robots get the gratuities? <laughs> that's an excellent question. Uh, it really question. is. And so uh, he also said that uh, if if they're charging the gratuity, if Roy Kareem is charging the gratuity and not giving it to anybody, he's not going to buy drinks at the Bionic Bar. Uh, and uh, or why don't they not have the gratuities at the Bionic Bar so you can save the 18%? Well, the answer, and I talked to our representative, Joanne Cotterman, from 
uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines, who is an outstanding business development manager over there. And she came back with the answer, which I thought was really good. They take the gratuities, and uh, there are two attendants that are at the bar to to make sure the bartenders aren't messing up. And uh, you'll see those guys (laughs) stand. They they get the gratuities. Also, all of the gratuities on board Royal Caribbean ships are divided among the whole bar staff. So uh, it's not just the guys in the bar you're at that are going to get the the gratuity when you sign your check. Which brings me to uh, a subject a lot of people have asked us, what's the deal with gratuities? I haven't sailed in a long time, and back when I had sailed last, we... uh, the night before the the final uh, day, we all got together with little envelopes and tried to figure out, am I going to give? And they gave us these sheets of paper, and it says, uh, okay, you give the major D $2.25 per day, and you give your waiter a dollar forty-five, and the assistant. And so we'd sit there with the math. Then we'd have to make sure we had change. It was a real pain. So what they do now is they put a fee or, or a gratuity charge on your onboard account each day on that daily uh, account you have on board the ship. And Royal Caribbean just announced this week that they're going to be increasing that uh, gratuity charge that they put on your onboard account. It's going to go from $13.50 to $14.50. That's for regular staterooms. For per person per day. Per person per day, correct. Uh, for uh, suites, it's going to go from sixteen fifty per day to seventeen fifty. Per day. Now, if you want, here's a little tip for you. If you want to avoid the increase and you've already booked your cruise with Royal Caribbean and you didn't add the prepaid gratuities onto your reservation, uh, that means that you said, I'm just going to pay them on board, don't do anything with them. If you'll call whoever you booked with for Royal Caribbean and add those gratuities onto your reservation, uh, then you'll get the lower rate. If you don't do that then, and you don't do anything and you didn't already have the rates, the gratuities on there, then uh, basically you're going to get charged the new rate. All right? So that's how you do it. Now, a couple of things about gratuities, the onboard gratuities. One thing to remember, please, that this uh, gratuity is being divided up by the whole staff. If you've got an issue with somebody that ticked you off and you had bad service for somebody, go down to customer service, go meet with the hotel manager, some do something. Don't punish the crew by going down and saying, okay, I want all my gratuities taken off my bill because this guy ticked me off. So please remember that. Uh, The other thing about gratuities to remember is that uh, when you have a beverage package or when you get a drink, there's a gratuity is already included in the in the ticket. If you look, there'll be another line on there with tip, uh, but there's already a gratuity up above, and it's already included in your beverage package. So don't do that again uh, if, if you're going to you know if you've already uh, you already paid it. So a lot of people don't notice that they've already paid the gratuity on there, and. Uh, the other thing that a lot of people do with gratuities is when they get on board, usually your, your stateroom attendant comes by and introduces themselves. And a lot of guys will go ahead and give the stateroom attendant, say, $20 or, or $30 or something. So uh, if you have special requests, like you like a lot of ice or, you I don't know, whatever you want in your room, um, that kind of, I don't know, grease the skids, as people say. And uh, some guys, uh, some folks, when they go to, if they have a favorite bar on board, the first time they go and get a drink, they'll maybe give the tip the bartender there $10, $15, $20 just to make sure that they get really great service during the rest of the cruise. So that's just a couple couple of little things. Uh, Linda and I generally uh, will add, uh, will give our room steward and waiters, if they have done a really good job, uh, an envelope on the last day when we're dis- disembarking from the cruise. And um, just because we know they don't make much money and these guys work really, really hard and long, long hours. And- I think it's a good thing to give them. Uh, I mean, they do give good service. I haven't had any attendant giving us bad service that I can even remember. Yeah, they, and, and so it's really, really nice to give it to them. Yeah, it is, and they do appreciate it so much, and it it goes a long, long way. The dollars go a long way in the countries that they came from. They're very appreciative too. Yeah, and uh, so anyway, that's a little thing about. And by the way, your gratuities on board also go for people that you don't even, you'll never even meet, and that's like people uh, down in the laundry, um, people washing the dishes in the back of the kitchen. So uh, the gratuities go a long way, not just the the folks that you see around the ship all the time. So, all right, there's a little uh, Cruise Gratuities 101. Well, the band is here, and that means we are coming to our first port of call, as is our tradition here on Just Cruising. We're going to run ashore for a very brief timeout. We come back, 
We're going to tell you uh, about our 10 ways to save money when you book a cruise. So please join us. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody, and thanks so much for being with us this Last show of uh, 2017 and our last broadcast on WMMB 1240 and 1350. We've had a great time this last nine years bringing the show to you. And before, uh, I I do want to thank Bill Mick for all of his support for our show over the years. Um, Bill took a rank amateur uh, who had had very little experience in radio and turned him into the beautiful star that we see here now so Ta-da. <laughs> and uh, uh by the way if you're uh not listening to us on facebook or you're but you are listening to us on the radio we are live this saturday morning and you can be a part of our show the phone number to call is 768-1240 and if you'll do that you can call and you can be part of our show if you have questions or comments that you'd like to make about cruising or travel or whatever uh we're here to uh take that those calls and we will remind you that our show even though it's not going to be on the radio anymore will be on youtube and uh the way to access that or the best way to do that is to go to our webpage viera.cruiseholidays.com or you can just google cruise holidays of viera be sure and put the viera in there or it's going to take you someplace else and when you get to that web page uh, you scroll all the way down you'll see uh, uh, it's, uh plaque there that says eden and then uh just below our blog and then a big red button that says subscribe and just hit that button it'll take you to our youtube channel fill in the information which is basically uh your email address and uh click the little bell up in the top right corner so that you'll get notifications whenever we post the show up on youtube hey while you're on our webpage, we got all kinds of great stuff there uh, a couple things just to bring to your attention is uh that uh, we have some special offerings for you, one of which is the Celebrity Edge inaugural, which is going to be taking place December 16th of uh, this year, of next year. I'm sorry, it's still this year. Uh, out of Fort Lauderdale, it's December 16th through the 23rd. And this is going to be a really magnificent ship. And Linda's really looking forward to this new uh, stateroom that they're going to have on board. I can't wait to be the first to see it. And what's it going to do? <laughs> What the stateroom is going to do, it's going to be all glass, and you're going to be able to walk into your cabin and see the ocean. Yeah, what they're calling this is the Edge Stateroom with the Infinity Balcony, and uh, it's all going to be have high-tech electronics that control panels that go up and down, and it basically makes your, uh, when you walk into the room, it your balcony becomes part of the cabin, and so it's all one uh, that's just one of many, many new things that the each Celebrity Edge is going to have. Again, you, if you'll go to our webpage, viera.cruiseholidays.com, uh, s- click that, and then, uh, or go down to where it says Eden and click that, and you can see two great videos which will tell you what this new ship is going to look like so you don't have to wonder. And we got a group, uh, I think we got about 20 or 30 folks already signed up to go with us. Uh, we'll have bus transportation from our offices here. Uh, in Melbourne, uh, actually Sun Tree. And by the way, uh, I want to remind you though, even though just cruising is not going to be on the air on 1240 and 1350, Cruise Holidays of Vieira is still going strong. We're still available for you to help you with your vacation planning. I know a lot of folks are going to be charging out on the new year because that's one of their resolutions is I'm going to do something about my summer vacation because last year I waited till two weeks beforehand and I, there was nothing left for me to do. So by starting right now, especially Alaska, and I've been telling everybody Alaska is hot this year and uh, not the temperature, but boy, is it popular for booking, right, Linda? Oh, we're, we're booking – Alaska like crazy. It really is. I've never seen anything like it. So, uh, again, we urge you to give us a call, 321-242-1331, and uh, set up an appointment so that we can give you devote all the time and attention that we need to your vacation planning. And come on into our office. We need about 30 to 45 minutes of your time just to make sure that we ask all the right questions because we want it to be the very best vacation you've ever taken, and we want to take 
tailored just for you, uh, not some cookie cutter approach. So, uh, cruise holidays of VR are continuing strong, even though just cruising is going to be off the air. Uh, also on our webpage, you can do all kinds of things. One of the things I do want to point out to you, there's a, a block there called Distinctive Travels Group. And this is a group of folks that, uh, there's about almost 90 of them now. Uh, we meet approximately every month at uh, a local restaurant. We have a really nice dinner. And we have a presentation from one of the travel companies. Uh, this coming January 10th, we're going to be meeting at the Tuscany Grill in Sun Tree. And uh, Joanne Cotterman from Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines is going to be with us. And the, the title of her presentation is The Sweet Life, S-U-I-T-E. So if you'd like to see what our club is all about, if you'll go to our webpage and click that block, you can see a description. And if you'd like to try us out and uh, join us for this event just to see if you'd like to join or not, then uh, there are blocks on the webpage there for you to be able to RSVP for the event. So guests are welcome. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a bunch of folks who like to travel together, like-minded folks that get together and uh, discuss travel. Now, to keep in mind, there is an annual fee. Right. And uh, they do pay for their own dinner. There so. you go. No free lunches around uh, cruise holidays of Vieira. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, all the details about the club are there, and uh, we'd love to have you join us if you uh, think you'd like to do that. Oh, uh, one of the things I do want to mention to you that uh, Celebrity Cruise Lines is kicked off a new promotion, and what they're allowing you to do is you get um, some discounts. But the big thing is you get to choose two of four perks when you book a cruise. Uh, the two, the four perks, and you get to have two of these is either their classic beverage package that some people call a card. But uh, anyways, um, that gets me <laughs> chewed out every week. But anyway, uh, the classic beverage package, which is a wonderful uh, deal. It costs $64 per person per day if you just bought it. Uh, if you drink modestly, moderately, it's probably $100 per day uh, value. But anyway, that's one of your choices. The other choice you can choose also from free gratuities that we were just talking about uh, or an $150 onboard credit per person or unlimited Wi-Fi. So you get to choose two of those perks. Now, that makes it a really good bargain. So Celebrity Cruise Lines, we really urge you to, uh, if you haven't looked at them, or you've never booked with them, or you have booked with them, and, you, and you've been kind of on the fence, now is the time to do it during this promotion. And we'll be happy to take care of that for you at Cruise Holidays of Vieira, 321-242-1331. Okay. Uh, over the last years, few years, I've been doing a talk, that, and I still do it. If you would like for me to come and talk to your organization, you can just give us a call. But uh, when I go to talk to folks like Rotary Clubs and Lions Clubs and people like that, my topic of my discussion is 10 ways to save money when you book your next cruise. So uh, we have done this over the years here on Just Cruising in case. So I thought I'd do it again to refresh your memory if you uh, haven't heard it in a while. And it might bring some things that you'd forgotten up to up to uh, forefront of mind. So let's start off with uh, the 10 ways to save money when you uh, book your next cruise. Now, I'm going to rank these in what I consider the, the most important order. And the number one is to use a travel agent. I think that is absolutely the best way to save money because we can do several different things for you. That, that You can do this on your own, sure, but it's going to be time-consuming, and you still might not have the knowledge that we have based upon 14 years of uh, planning vacations for folks. Uh, one of the things that uh, we can do for you is that we can tell you all the different cruise lines that are going to match your personality and the type of uh, cruise that you're going to be taking because otherwise you're going to be wasting a lot of money if you wind up on the wrong ship on the wrong type of cruise lines. Uh, so we can save you money from that st standpoint. We so make sure th that there's no surprises when you when you get on your vacation so that if you've got a surprise it's not so so pleasant that can really be expensive for you. Like a charge that you hadn't anticipated and all of a sudden it's on your bill. So we tell you about those things. Uh, I, I'll tell you one I like is that there's a cruise line that every time you book with them, they automatically put the transfers from the uh, airport to the ship on your reservation. If you don't notice that they're there and you're taking a, a ship out of Fort Lauderdale and you're driving to the pier, 
you get charged for that bus that you're not taking. So uh, we know that's going to happen. So we 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 make sure that gets taken off your reservation, so you don't have to pay for it. That's really true, and there's and that cruise line is notorious for doing that. Yeah, and and you you if you don't know what you're looking for, you're not going to know what the, what you got charged for. Another way we save you money is we help you keep you from making mistakes. And I always remember many years ago the family of five that showed up at a Disney cruise because they had an infant who was like three months old and they figured well you're not gonna have to pay for a child that young and they booked a cabin for four and an infant counts as one person regardless of how old they are and they didn't get to take their cruise and they lost all the money that they they had made for them we didn't book them no we didn't book them but uh that we could have saved i just wanted to make sure okay uh i also remember a family who every year booked a cruise on a certain cruise line and everybody called in and made a separate reservation. And they had more than enough people to qualify for a group to get discounts and amenities. And it never occurred to them that they could they could form a group and do it all at one time with a cruise line and save money. So those are the ways that a travel agent can save you money uh, when you book a cruise. And the best part about it is we don't charge you any additional fees or money for that service. So we're offering you the ability to plan your vacation. It's tailored for you so you don't make mistakes and uh, take care of all the details so that you don't miss anything. So that's why a travel agent can save you money when you book your next cruise. Well, here's the band, and we can you believe this? We're already at our next uh, port of call. Amazing. Yes, time flies. And uh, we're going to go ashore. We'll be right back, and we'll continue with our 10 ways to save money when you book your next cruise. So please join us. Hi there. Welcome back. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Thanks again so much for joining us. Uh, if you're just joining us and you missed the first part of the show, we are announcing this is our last broadcast on AM 1240 and 1350 WMMB. It's been a great nine-year run, and we've really enjoyed being here with you. And we're moving on to moving our show onto YouTube. Uh, before we get, move on any further, I do. There's one very, very special person I want to thank so much for all of his help over the last nine years, and that's George Medina. George uh, has been just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, he has taken me along, learning all the technical difficulties, and and we've had some over the years, and we've gotten through them. And uh, from um, a couple of us oversleeping and uh, all kinds of things, but we got through and we we brought the show. And George, thanks so much for all your help over these years. You've been fa- fa- fantastic, and we appreciate it. So, all right, uh, back to uh, how to save money on your when you book your next cruise. Uh, the first item that I thought was the most important is use a travel agent. Number two, best way to save money, I believe, on a uh, booking a cruise is to book early. Uh, I think we see, now I always get this question, well, what about last-minute cruises? Well, there's a couple things going on. First of all, uh, a few years ago, Royal Caribbean announced that they will not discount prices on their cruises within 45 days of sailing. Uh, they may do some other <laughs> inducements, but they're not going to discount the price. And the reason is is that uh, if you had booked out a year and a half or whatever at a certain price and you go down to dinner and there's some guy sitting there that bra- bragging about how he booked it last week and got a price that was half yours that you for your planning, and um, you, you did that, it kind of ticks you off. So the cruise lines are sensitive to that. And everybody said, well, that's not, you're not going to sacrifice having empty beds go out uh, when you could discount it and fill up those beds, and then you get that revenue when the folks are on board from buying drinks and playing bingo and all that sort of thing. But Royal Caribbean said, no, we're willing to forego that, and they did, and they have held it, and it's working. So uh, the other cruise lines have followed suit also. So it's it's a trend that's happened. So the last-minute cruise deals are pretty much gone. Also, because of TSA requirements and things like that, Manifest, we don't have that standby thing that you've heard about that happened, I, I guess, 30 years ago because I haven't heard about it in a long time. The time that we see the best pricing is when we first, when the cruise lines first announce their schedules for the coming years, and it's what we call the deployment. And that, we see the very best pricing at that point. And just think about it. It makes sense. As the ships fill up, as they continue and certain categories fill up, it's all based upon 
supply and demand. The cruise lines will start to raise those prices because they've already you know, filled up a certain amount and they've kind of made their overhead. So now they can start raising the prices. And that's what happens is a very simple thing. Um, a lot of times, uh, the refu- the deposit you put on there to hold the cabin is either refundable or there's a fee for changing it, but you're not really at that much risk for booking early. And another thing is if you buy your travel insurance right at the beginning and you uh, buy a travel guard policy with pre-existing conditions, waivers built into the policy, that being you bought the policy within 14 days of making your deposit, then you're uh, pretty much covered. You know, later this week, somebody uh, told me they had uh, their their spouse is having health issues, and they're not sure if they're going to be able to go on a cruise in March. And they're debating back and forth whether they're going to go or not going to go. And uh, I said, look, you can cancel up until the day of the cruise, and you're still going to get your money back because you have travel guard insurance with preexisting. She said, oh, I feel uh, so much better. What a relief, said, yeah. yes. Okay. And she says, well, all the things I got going on in my life right now and all the decisions we have to make, this is one I didn't really need to think about. And I said, well, take it off your list because uh, having that travel insurance, what what a difference it makes. I mean, having that insurance is a money saver. Yeah. It's insuring. That's that's reason number three. That, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, tip number three on saving uh, okay. money. Because uh, it, it seems strange, and, and what I'm saying is that uh, a, a way to save money when you book a cruise is to buy travel insurance. And it seems strange to spend money to save money, but that's exactly what happens. Because we have had so many things that nobody ever in their wildest imagination thought was going to happen that caused them not to go on a cruise. You can't anticipate things that go wrong. I mean, you just can't. I mean, we've had people step out of the cab at the pier and break their ankle. Uh, you know, uh, it's just uh, phenomenal the things that we've seen over the last 14 years of, of booking cruises. Um, <clears throat> by the way, if you're just joining us, you are on board just cruising for our last broadcast on AM radio, and it's being brought to you every week, or has been brought to you every week by Cruise Holidays of Vieira, and we are your boutique vacation planning store in the Suntree area, available to you 24-7 online at vieira.cruiseholidays.com, available Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 at 321-242-1331. And and we we like to show off because we like to show you what service is all about. It's it's the kind of service that really doesn't exist anymore. Uh, When you call that number, you don't have to press a number to uh, speaking to speak English. Um, usually, a, a, a human's going to answer it if it's from nine to five within a couple of rings, and uh, you're not going to have to punch a bunch of numbers to get to the right department because we are the department. That that's it. There's only one department. So uh, we invite you to call us, uh, go on our website, or contact us so that we can take care of your next vacation for you. And we do an outstanding job, and uh, we'd like for you to uh, experience that. And we do it all for no additional cost. So uh, it's the same price that you're going to pay if you go on the 800 numbers or you go online to one of the cruise lines. All right, so we're talking about the 10 ways to save money when you book your next cruise. And we talked about using a travel agent. We used, talked about booking early. We talked about buying uh, travel insurance. And uh, the next one I want to talk about is get all of your discounts. And this might sound like an easy thing, but there are so many discounts out there that in each cruise line is completely different as to what they offer. And you not, might not be aware of them and might not know to ask for them. But at Cruise Holidays of Vieira, one of the things that we do is we ask you the questions to find out about what discounts that you might be entitled to. The other thing you have to watch these days, and this is a change, that a lot of times the promotions the cruise lines are featuring are less expensive than the discounts. And we've had people go in and get a military discount, but the promotion that was going on, 50% off the second guest, 30% off all the guests, uh, was actually a better deal than the military discount. And if you just call the cruise line and say, I want the military discount, they're not always going to tell you about the better way to go. So that's one of the things that happens when you use a travel agent. We are looking at all those different things to make sure that you get not only the discounts you're entitled to, but all the, that the promotions are the promotions that you want and the, and the types of per- perks you want to, uh, to get. 
Yeah, that's uh, so true because there, like you said, Larry, there's so many things out there. So what we do is we make a comparison. We'll say, okay, this is the military. This is the promotion they're offering. Let's see which ends up to be the best. Or with the onboard credits, it might offset some of the discounts. It would be even more if you get the uh, onboard credit instead of a discount too. So, so okay, tip number five, uh, that is to book your cruise, and especially for folks here in uh, Florida, if your uh, schedule allows, if you're retired and you can travel at any time, there are discounts for what we call the shoulder seasons. Now, the shoulder season in Alaska, the, the, the full season in Alaska runs from about the second week in May till about the second week in September. But the time period from about the middle of May to the first of June and from uh, about the second week in August till the second week in September is what we call the shoulder season. Uh, it's typically when the kids are back in school, and pricing is going to be lower there. Uh, in Europe, we have the shoulder seasons are generally when it's colder. Uh, it's going to be the April-May time frame on the front end of our cruises in Europe. And on the back end, the late October, early November. Uh, I used to say September, October was the shoulder season in Europe, but their weather has been so nice the last few years. They've been having kind of an Indian summer. We, and the cruise lines figured that out, so the pricing is not as good as it used to be. But if you go really – and the cruise lines are staying later and going earlier to Europe. So uh, we have more availability of cruises in the early April time frame and the late October, early November, all the way up until second, third week in November in Europe. So those are less – those times. Now, Linda, here's something a lot of people don't know when we talk about Alaska cruises is that it's less expensive to take a uh, northbound cruise than it is a southbound cruise. And that's when, when what we do is we go from Vancouver up to, say, Seward in Alaska. That's the northbound portion. And then a lot of people, when they get there, they'll, take, they'll add a cruise tour to that. And um, But other people like to fly into Fairbanks, take the land portion of the cruise tour, then get on the boat and cruise for the next seven days. And since more people want to do it that way than the other way, it's more expensive. So those are the little things that you learn about cruising over the years that uh, you, maybe you never even thought about. So, You're so right. And so that's uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, those are the kinds of things that uh, coming to cruise holidays over here can, can help you with. One other good time to book a cruise is during hurricane season. And we have to – now you – have to worry about your home, but <laughs> the cruise lines go where the hurricanes aren't. And we just found this out. Now, we also found out sometimes you get a longer cruise than you had anticipated. Right, Linda? We had some folks sail out of uh, Miami and Fort Lauderdale and didn't come home for 10 days because that hurricane kept moving <laughs> around. So uh, that was one that we hadn't run into before. People got actually a longer cruise than they had anticipated. So, uh, But the pricing during the hurricane season, and that's um, generally when school's back in session, so I say from about Labor Day through um, the last week of about Halloween, or that's when we see some good pricing. Another good time for pricing here in the Caribbean is in December, those first few weeks be after Thanksgiving and before Christmas, we see some very good fares during that time, and then immediately after the new year. Uh, before spring break kicks in. So those are just to give you an idea, some seasons where you find better pricing than other times. So, And we can check all of those dates out for you. Yeah, and we do that. We have these great programs, which you don't have on your computer that can allow us to do that. And exactly. We, and we can compare yeah. the cruise lines. Anyway, yeah. well, anyway, uh, we're at our last time out of the day. We're going to run ashore, so please come back, and we'll continue with our 10 ways to save money when you book your next cruise. Hi, welcome back again. Hope you're having a great holiday season. You had a, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and you're going to have a great New Year. Uh, oh, I, w I was just scrolling around on our webpage, uh, viera.cruiseholidays.com, and we got this hidden thing. We, we need to figure out a way to put this on the webpage better, but if you'll click on uh, exclusive offers, and if you're looking at it on a computer, it's up at the top of the page, and if you're looking at it on your iPhone, when you when you scroll down, uh, you see exclusive offers, and if you'll click that, it not only brings up the cruise offers we have, but it brings up some travel magazines. And there's uh, two, five of them, two, four, five. They're really nice-looking travel magazines. One's called Escape, um, and it's exciting destinations throughout the world. So we have the they're very nice magazines. So if you like to look at travel magazines, 
we have them free of charge for you right on our website. It's under the exclusive offers uh, tab uh, in the blue section of our uh, webpage or our uh, on the iPhone. Also, while you're there, you can sign up for our app. We have a free app. It's just for Cruise Holidays of Vieira. And we send out notifications to you about uh, deals that are coming up, about uh, different discounts that the cruise lines are providing. And they're, they're going to be doing quite a few of those in the coming months because wave season is upon us. And wave season is the time of year when most vacations or more vacations are booked than any other time. And that's the period from about January 2nd through the end of March. I think it's more important for people up north because they have to put airline reservations in there uh, with their planning with us. We, you know, we just jump in the car and drive to the port. But we're going to see, uh, and the wave is a, a wave in, this, in your chart of bookings. And so wave season is upon us, and you're going to be seeing more and more promotions coming out from the cruise lines, which is going to make it more and more confusing for you. And that's why you need us at Cruise Holidays of Vieira to cut through the clutter and to tell you what's really a promotion and what's not a promotion. All right, we're talking about the 10 ways to save money uh, when you book your next cruise. We talked about using a travel agent. We talked about booking early. We talked about getting all your discounts, buying travel insurance, and the seasons, either shoulder season, hurricane season, or the different seasons that are a little bit better for pricing than at other times. Now, here's one I like, Linda, and that's uh, using cabin guarantees uh, categories. Uh, you want to explain to people what a cabin guarantee is? A guarantee is when you do not select the cabin, you don't know uh, what cabin you're going to get. Cabin what, number. Mm-hmm. You don't have a cabin number. If you uh, book into a guarantee balcony, you will be assured that you will have a balcony, nothing below it. If it's an ocean view guarantee, you'll get an ocean view or, or better, but never an inside. It won't be lower than the category that the guarantee is for. And sometimes you don't get that stateroom number until just before sailing. And sometimes you get to move to a higher category, generally within the same category, but at a higher category. Uh, yeah, so if you don't, uh, if it doesn't matter where you are on the ship, it's a great deal for you. However, we don't recommend it for those that need to be close to an elevator, have special um, uh, things that, motion sickness that they um, have that won't, then they should not do that. Because like we have people whose bed has to be facing a certain direction, right? Yes, we do. See, that doesn't, that's a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come to us to get that kind of service. Uh, but anyway, so uh, for instance, I, I think one of the best uh, balcony guarantees I've been seeing is on the Oasis of the Seas for this coming year for the ocean-facing balconies. Uh, we've seen significant discounts in that category, and it comes and goes, so it's not there all the time. But I don't think there's a bad ocean view or ocean facing cabin on the oasis. There right? isn't because none of them are uh, obstructed. Yeah, there's no there's light no boat issues, uh, issues or so, anything like that. Yeah. So that cabin guarantee, the, then what's, what's happening is the cruise line's giving you a discount because they get a lot of flexibility to be able to move people around, uh, move people up in categories and things like that. Uh, so it's, it, it really helps them and they're willing to give you a discount. Uh, and a lot of times we get the, the stateroom, uh, assigned like right away. <laughs> so it doesn't yeah. always mean that yeah. it's going to happen as a last minute thing. Okay. Some more ways to save money when you book your cruise and uh, when we first started doing this several many years ago this was a unique and new way to uh, save money on a cruise ship now it's common i think everybody does it and that's to use beverage packages and it doesn't have to be an alcoholic beverage package there are non-alcoholic beverage packages sodas packages there are coffee and tea packages there are uh, upscale uh, if you like really high in brands on your cocktails then there's a beverage package there so we really have those now we're seeing Royal Caribbean combining the beverage package with the alternative dining. They're now offering packages for the alternative dining. We're also seeing people uh, packaging uh, shore excursions, uh, especially our independent vendors, which is, brings me to uh, tip number two of how to save money, and that's to book with an independent excursion provider as opposed to the cruise ship. Um, now, the whole thing we always get is, well, if I book with a cruise ship and something goes wrong, they're going to hold the ship for me and make sure I get back. Well, we have the same guarantees from our vendors. They will guarantee you that if you miss the ship, they'll get you to the next port of call. And in 14 years, we've never had to use.
use that portion of their um, uh, guarantees on these independent excursion providers. And many, many times their pricing is much, much lower than the uh, cruise lines. And also you generally get a smaller group when you uh, go with these independent uh, providers. And we have several that we use. And, uh, again, we'll be that's one of our services at Cruise Holidays of Vieira. All right. What else do we have here? We've got – oh. And uh, I think finally is become a shareholder. Um, we have three publicly traded companies that provide cruises. The three are Carnival Cruise Lines, which is the parent company for Holland America, Princess, um, Costa, um, Cunard. Boy, that one's senior board right there. And <laughs> Cunard. And, uh, and of course, Carnival itself. That's one company. The other one is Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines, which is the parent or the, the publicly traded company of Royal Caribbean, Azamara Cruises, and Celebrity. And then the third one is Norwegian Cruise Lines, which is the publicly co- traded company of Oceana, Region 7 Seas, and Norwegian Cruise Lines. If you are a shareholder with 100 shares, a lot of these uh, companies will give you an onboard credit um, because you're a shareholder as a thank you. So another way to save money. Also, while I'm mentioning that, Princess offers military veterans. If you have a DD Form 214, they will give you an onboard credit that starts at $50 for the seven-day cruises and goes up from there. They do that on every cruise. They do that on every cruise. Princess Cruise Lines, military onboard credit. Uh, again, uh, and they've got a new thing that once you register your DD Form 214 with them, they keep it on file so you don't have to send it to them every time. So I think that's a really great thing that the Princess does. Well, I think that pretty much sums up our 10 ways to save uh, money when you book your next cruise. Um, use a travel agent. Book early. Oh, one more. Uh, book while you're on board because they're giving you onboard credits to book your next cruise while you're on board. Your travel agent gets full credit. Uh, we get notification that you booked on for- board. If you're going to make another cruise in the future, do it on board. It's free money. Well, this is it, Linda. We've come to the end of our last episode mm-hmm. of Just Cruising. Uh, it's been a great nine years. Thank you all so much for being with us, and we hope you've learned something along the way. And thank you for supporting Cruise Holidays of Vieira. Thank you to George and Bill for all of your help. And until we see you again, keep on cruising. Hey, Jackson of Just Cruising. Hope you're enjoying Just Cruising here on YouTube. If you'd like to keep up to date on all the videos that we'll be producing here in the, uh, in the near future, all you have to do is click the subscribe button just below my picture here, or you can click right over here for a list of the latest videos. Either way, we look forward to seeing you again. Until we do, keep on cruising.